To perform Scriabin in 2022 for the 150th anniversary of the composer's birth, it imposes from the very outset an all comprehensive approach towards the visionary scope of his work. The first post-romantic pieces were influenced in particular by Chopin and Liszt and already revealed an extremely personal and imaginative conception of the piano writing. The Prelude and Nocturne Opus 9 for the left hand and the Studies Opus 8 constitute a brilliant example. The second sonata, which is said to have been inspired by images of the marine world, exhibiting several elements of his later style, despite a still post-romantic aesthetic.
In order to approach and understand Scriabin's music at its true value, this implies understanding the essence of its mysterious and esoteric dimension. One cannot consider his interpretation without observing the multiple expressive indications in French that run throughout his course with eloquence, particularly in the last period. The Prelude, Opus 74, the Sonata No. 9, Black Mass, and the Sonata No. 7, White Mass, for example, being undoubtedly his most impressive work because of the pianistic and psychological demands. A conception seeking only to be literal in regards to a view of an abstract form of objectivity would be vain and sterile. Isn't it the ultimate goal of Scriabin's music, the transfiguration of the cosmos into ecstasy for heart? The richness and sensuality of the sound colors also remind us that the composer was afflicted with synesthesia, associating colors to the songs. Assuming an historical deduction of Scriabin's innovative dimension, this involves identifying the codes of interpretation. We mustn't forget that Scriabin was obsessed by the notions of unity, symmetry, and geometric proportions for the structure of his works.
The term of mystery would be the apt title of his unfinished Opus Magnum, which Scriabin has planned to compose for an Indian temple. This complete work of art, where music, speech, light, mime, perfume, taste, would be wonderfully intertwined into a single framework. The excerpt from the sketches of the Acte Préalable close this recording with the Tombeau de Scriabin, in the form of a vibrant posthumous tribute composed by Manfred Kelkel. For as long as I can remember, Scriabin has been one of my favorite composers. I wanted to offer a broad overview of the evolution of his style in a chronological way. The last period has a special place and will always remain one of the most visionary illustrations in the history of music and piano literature, that of a genius who prematurely passed away at the age of 43 having had established a revolution in musical language of the 20th century. <laughs>